Cordero, and I'm a filmmaker living in New York City. I mean, I've always been into music, and I've always uh, sort of appreciated hip hop, you know, just as a fan. And when I first started, I was shooting a lot of, actually shooting a lot of um, like indie rock videos for like bands in Brooklyn and stuff. And um, and I was doing that for a while, and I felt like the scene didn't really appreciate um, at the time like guerrilla filmmaking. You know, some of the bands I worked with really wanted that polished MTV look, and I just you know it wasn't like they were open to doing experimenting and, and then putting videos out on the internet. It was kind of taboo back then. Eventually, I started working with some indie hip hop artists in New York, like Ali Vegas, and eventually Joel Ortiz. And I think I discovered my passion for the music industry through that, you know. Um, I felt like hip hop embraced um, the, you know, the speed of like guerrilla shooting and they really embraced uh, just different ideas and experimentation. So the Blue Magic trailer I did uh, in 07 when, when Jay-Z was putting out the American Gangster album. I couldn't actually watch the movie because only um, Jay-Z had a copy of the movie that Denzel gave him. So they had to describe the, the scene to me because they showed it to a bunch of Def Jam execs. Of course, I got like six different points of view on, on what actually was, they saw, you know? And uh, I think, you know, the guys at Def Jam definitely felt some pressure to deliver something great. But I didn't really feel that kind of pressure. I, I really just, um, I just wanted to actually see if I could make it work, like, uh, <laughs> you know, with, with, with no budget and, and with the, the gear that I had at the time. So we mounted, um, so I had this huge, like, you know, HVX and Red Rock adapter and these, you know, really heavy aluminum rails and like, um, we mounted like this 650 watt light on top. It was very quick. It wasn't it wasn't mapped out the way I would would like to now, you know. So the next day I brought the um, I burned it to a DVD. They didn't ask for it or anything. I just wanted to see it for myself, like how it would look. And then we got a call that Jay Z wanted to go wanted to watch what we did. So we had to go to um, to Baseline Studios, I think. When when it was up. Eventually, like somebody came out and they were like, okay, he likes the video, you can you can come inside now. And, and then it was Jay and he was just watching the thing. He was watching the um, the video and he was playing Blue Magic. So it was the first time I heard the record. And, uh, I remember when I heard the record, I wasn't like, I wasn't that impressed by it. I was like, oh, this is, I was expecting like, you know, some like Kanye soulful, you know what I mean? Like the soulful beat or something. So I wasn't expecting the, you know, the, the Neptune sound or the Pharrell sound. So it was a little bit jarring, but um, it was interesting because uh, he was really looking, he was, he was playing each record to see if it matched the visuals. And, and none of them really matched it the way that I put, that the temp track did, which the temp track was a DJ Babu beat that I got, um, that I just put, you know, I just laid it under it just so I had some reference point. I, I did, actually, I did want him to be in it, but I just didn't know how to get that across. And, and somebody did ask him, I think Steve asked him, but he was like, no, it's fine without it, you know, it's better that I'm not in it, it actually makes it much better. But I, I, I just think that he, you know, if he was in it, it would have, it would have pulled the trigger too soon on, on me. It would have put me, it would have made me a lot bigger and I don't think anyone was ready for that. And I always think that if he was in it, what, what would I, how would I have flipped that if he was in it? You know, what, would I have made more commercial videos and, and got away from, you know, from sort of the, the gritty human connection stuff, you know? Um, I don't know. I really don't know.